five brand new themes never before seen. Actually, no, some of you might have seen them, but they just dropped. I haven't seen them before. This is my first time checking them out. And uh, these are all from Dwayne Hurst. I mean, he's got, you know, a couple dozen themes out now, and yet they're all different. You know, some are like, especially you'll see in, in the video today, a couple of them are, are similar, but there's about three totally different themes, two of which are kind of offshoots of them, but a total of five at your fingertips. There's two with light versions, a couple other things. So let's just go ahead and have a peek at these new themes. All right, starting out the theme pack, we have Back to Basics. And I really like this one because it's so big. Um, you know, if you're in on a bar top or you're on a, sc a screen far away, you're gonna want big buttons like this. This is nice. The other thing about this is it's very much a, uh, a an attract mode style theme for emulation station. So you know, you can have all the same you know beautiness of a track mode, but running emulation station. The other thing I'd want to change really quick is, uh, these tend to run really good with instant, by the way. Um, as far as VRAM settings, I've heard the best thing to go is um, with 140. So, um, you know, people have different results. I am on the Raspberry Pi 1.2 gigahertz for this particular uh, video. So here you go, some of the buttons here. Really beautiful. I think a lot of people are gonna like this. The you know artwork's beautiful, really great. You go inside, big long list, not very distracting, very clean. You got a little Pac-Man coin on the left. Uh, I really like it. I mean, it's cool. The all the videos, all the themes in this particular video I'm making right now do support video snaps. I'm just on an image that doesn't have video snaps. So versus artwork here, you can have artwork into a video, or you can just have a video display here if you like. That's totally up to you and you setting up your image. You notice it's signed Hursty at the upper right. He does a lot of this stuff on Photoshop, gets it all squared away. Uh, he's, he's a beast when it comes to making these uh, images. So next is crisp and crisp light. You might be wondering what's the difference between crisp and crisp light. The light is a, like a lighter version. It's a smaller file. It doesn't support as many systems. So you're not gonna have, you know, like CPS one, two, and three, for example, or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what's included and what's not, but it's a lighter version of it. So let's just go to the full version here. So you can see all the systems I have installed on this particular theme here. TurboGrafx 16, PlayStation, you go in, and you got your, you can have video snaps or, um, or not, or have an actual image. This, um, this image, this kind of reminds me of the Shiquello, uh one that I reviewed not too long ago, but it definitely has a different look to it. So Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, you click in, you got the long list with your artwork. So pretty cool. There is a light version of that as well. So if you're interested, you can definitely uh, check that out. The other one is Primo. So Primo and Crisp are very much alike. So you're gonna see this in a second. So that was Crisp. Now let's go back down to Primo. And you're gonna notice that Primo and Crisp are very alike, just a diff little uh, different as far as the images used, um, as, as well as this area here. With Crisp, you don't see the next system. With Primo, you can see what system's coming next. So I know Nintendo Game Boy Advance, if I go down, SNES is next. So that's kind of cool, so if you want it, and it's also a vertical wheel that way. The other one is vertical as well, but you don't see the actual wheel, so you don't know what's rotating. Back to this, you get that. You get the vertical wheel. Um, all the fonts, there's no really buttons. All the fonts are the same for all the systems. But the artwork on the right, you might notice it's actually the same. Between Primo and Chris, use the same artwork. And I totally understand recycling that. You don't want to have to redo all that stuff. Um, again, you if you have video snaps, there's a display here. You got the little console in the lower middle. Um, and then the button, the wheel on the uh, upper left. So there you go. This is the uh, Primo, and you can notice it's very similar to Crisp. Um, biggest differences to me is this wheel. Um, another slight difference is you do get that little system in the lower uh, middle. You see how you see the Game Boy Advance, you see the SNES. You do not get that with the uh, with the Crisp. Little detail. Um, and then the other thing, uh, the but the I noticed that this font right here, this little like glowing lights uh, font, is similar between the two. You will get that similar font. All right, we're, we're getting, we're going through these themes. All right, uh, second to last one we have is the news. Where's my news? 
It's called Retro Game News, so R, Retro Game News. So I believe the influence for this is like casters, you know, eSports casters or newscasters, whatever you want. Um, you see the little casting desk, and there you go. And each one is, it has its own little Easter eggs. My Easter egg for Drew Talks is on Atari 2600. I don't have Atari 2600 on here, but uh, as you can see, Super Nintendo MLP books himself in Black Friday Sale Rehab. I believe ETA Prime has one. I also believe that uh, Phil Collins has one. Bolt One Online has one. So there's a lot of little Easter eggs on this. As you see, the system changes in the middle. Not too shabby. Really cool when you go in, you get the little caster desk. You do get that little system there like you do with one of the, the previous one I was looking at, and then you get to see the button as well. And then you got a little news token on the left. You get to use the whole screen. Does support video snaps. Uh, one thing I would say is that you can't really see what your buttons do in the lower right-hand corner. Um, the options, the menu, the favorites. That'd be my only gripe on this one, that the contrast there is, is too, it just camouflaged. Uh, but back on this screen, perfect, beautiful, like it. And then lastly, our last thing we're going to check out, which I was told wasn't out yet. But uh, if you are interested, by the way, how do you update this? So let me go ahead. Blu-ray is the last one. And uh, this is out now. I was told it wasn't going to be out till later this week or next week, but it is out. And as you see, it's Blu-ray discs. Pretty cool, right? Uh, just like you would see Blu-ray in, in, <laughs> in uh, when you go to Target or you go to a store and you get Blu-ray. Uh, really quick before we dive into this, I did want to show you how to update in case you guys were interested in updating. You want to go ahead and go to uh, Raspberry Pi Setup, go over here to uh, Update Script, go ahead and say yes, and then do a basic install. Once you've done a basic install, you will be updated. As you see, I'm on Re Re RetroPie 4.4, which dropped not too long ago. And then you just go over here to Emulation Station Themes, and once you've updated the, the RetroPie, I believe that does update the actual uh, theme sets as well, uh, but you can um, update or download additional theme sets up at the top there, but mine was already set for me. And you really got to go down here. All of uh, Dwayne Hurst's uh, themes are all the way on the bottom. As you can see, some beautiful themes. And you do need to be connected to the internet, by the way, so either plug in an Ethernet or connect to the Wi-Fi on that previous uh, RetroPie setup screen. And here you go. These are in order of release. So as you can see, his most recent one, Blu-ray, the one he released before that was Retro Game News, Back to Basics, we saw in the beginning of this video, then you have your Primo and your Primo Light, and then your Crisp and your Crisp Light. If you wanna see these other themes, I've made videos on them in the past, checking them out as well. But that's all you do is you click install, and then as long as you're on the internet, it would work for you. Okay, so that's how you update your emulation station themes so you can get the latest and the greatest, have your custom setup. Now here we are, the last theme of this video, Blu-ray, and as you see, as I mentioned, it's the same thing like when you go buy a Blu-ray. You get the little blue DVD case, and then you have the uh, actual slip artwork on the front. And the, I really like this because, well, first of all, some you gotta pay attention to the details here. So it did a mirror, so you can kinda see that the, if you look below the Nintendo, you can see it mirrored down. Cool little effect, um, you know, makes it look kinda cool. And uh, you can see how many games are available. There's also that blue line at the top. Uh, as well. There's a little part of the detail. And then when you go in, you get the same artwork that you saw from the last one, but you also get your video snap and your, um, and your, or artwork. I have artwork instead of video snap. And then your metadata. Something that I just really like about this theme is how big the font is. So again, this, this and the back to basics are going to be my go-tos for a bar top build or for a big screen TV build. Somewhere where you're sitting far away or you're on a small screen. Either way, any way you need to magnify the actual display so you can see what you're doing. Some of the other themes on Emulation Station are just too busy and there's just all these little details. With this, look at the, look at the names on the left here. This is a larger font than you would typically see. And I totally like that. There's also a lot more spacing between them, thus being able to really differentiate between the games. I really like that. Uh, the metadata is a little small, but I usually don't pay attention to that anyways. And then also no distracting colors. Everything is either white or light blue for the most part. Uh, and so for that, it's just, it's clean, it's easy. It kind of reminds me of Cody. It reminds me of Cody that it's just simple, easy to use, a nice little system. Finally, um, it does have a mix of console art, but then as you might notice when you go to Neo Geo 
or you go to CP1, 2, and 3, that it no longer has the system, it actually has some animation. So it is a mix of animation and uh, box art, you know, or system art. So you gotta get that mix there. So here you go, if you go into something, it might look like this. And uh, overall cool, you get the star rating system, and there you have it. So there you guys go, five brand new themes. Two of the five have, have a light version, so it's seven in total, but five actual themes. The Crisp and the Primo being very identical, uh, but different in their own ways. And out of these five, what's my favorite? You know, I'd have a really hard toss up between the Blu-ray and the uh, Back to Basics. Um, you know, I would rock them both all day, any day. Uh, those are my two favorites. Let me know what you guys think. What are your favorites? Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll put a link to Dwayne Hurst's channel. This dude's a madman. He gets these themes out in days at a time. He just goes at it and when he gets an idea and he does it. So props to him. Props to all the hard work he puts in. Uh, we really appreciate it. I do at least and I can speak for hopefully the people that follow me that we appreciate it. And uh, we're going to catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.